Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazelton and I like to start my videos off with a joke. So the joke for this video is, what kind of jewelry do rabbits wear? 14 karat gold. So hopefully you got some laughter and some happiness out of that and I'm going to move right into the video. Uh, before we get started, I just want to apologize for my voice. I have a bit of some sort of congestion. I think I have a cold, so I apologize if I sound a bit weird. Um, but here we go. This is going to be about how to start your very first ad campaign. Disclaimer, I'm not guaranteeing money. I'm not telling you to definitely spend your money. I'm just giving you general guidance on how to start your first ad campaign. Very simple way, but this can be very effective. I've learned this from watching multiple YouTubers, and I've been trying to educate myself more and more on ads. So this is what I recommend if you're just starting out to try and learn how to navigate Amazon KDP ad campaigns. So first you go to your dashboard, click marketing, and then you'll go to Amazon ads. You select the marketplace you want. So Amazon.com is usually the most popular. I'm located in the US and that's where I make most of my sales. So that's what I'm going to do. And when you hit create a campaign, it will open up this page and you'll want to select one of these options. I recommend doing sponsored products right here. Just hit continue and it would open up a new page. I already have these pre-opened so that way I wouldn't have to blur anything out. So that's why I have it like this. So for ad format, if you do custom text, that's when you'd add your own sort of blurb uh, when your book is being advertised. But for your first campaign, I recommend doing the standard ad and it will do it without any custom text. For ad group settings, it's just any name you want, can be anything or whatever is already there. Products, you search your products, you can add one or multiple products. Obviously, if you had multiple, make sure they would have the same ad campaign since that's what you'll be doing is a specific ad campaign. For this is my personal book, so that's why I have it here. I've mentioned it multiple times before and I added the paperback version only, not the evac ebook or hardcover. For targeting, do automatic targeting. Manual targeting is where you can choose your own keywords and set your own custom bids, but for your very first campaign, I recommend doing automatic targeting. On the right-hand side, all these columns have these help options, so there's so much more explanation if you want it. For default bid, I recommend 15 or 20 cents, something like that. You want to start off lower. The suggested bid is always going to be higher. Um, definitely want to make sure you'll still make a profit. So if you're only getting a dollar royalty, then you don't want to have a dollar bid because then every click you would need to get a sale to even break even um, unless your purpose was to just make sure you win all the bids and get a lot of people on your book and you have the money to spend but if you're trying to make money and not really lose any or break even then I recommend a smaller bid and I've definitely seen people be successful with smaller bids still so you can always adjust this later on that's why I recommend starting low because you can always adjust it if you need to Negative keyword targeting and product targeting, skip that for now. They're optional. Basically, if there's a product or a keyword that you really don't want used in your ad campaign, you can put it there and it won't be used. Campaign name, anything you want. Start and end date, anything you want. Just keep in mind that it usually takes a few weeks for data to be collected and also about 72 hours for your ad campaign to be approved. It'll be under review for um, that time. Sometimes it can be faster or slower. But once it's approved, then it will be active. For daily budget, I recommend something small, like a dollar, two dollars, or five dollars is usually my maximum. This is how much money that the ad will spend in a day. It will not go over it. It may spend less in case you're not getting as many clicks. For bidding strategy, I recommend down only. That means that it will use your bid, so like 20 cent bid. If for some reason you would win a bid with 10 cents, then it will do 10 cents, so it could save you money. For up and down, it could raise or lower your bid by a maximum of 100%. I don't like that because I don't want my bids going up higher than I set them. For fixed bids, it will use your exact bid and any other manual adjustments and nothing else. So that means that if you would have won with a 10 cent bid, but you have it set for 20, it will do the 20. So I think you could lose some money with that. And then you would hit launch campaign and that would be it. I'm not going to click that because then it would actually launch it and I don't want to launch an ad campaign for this book right now. But I hope that was helpful. I know it was very quick. If you want me to go into more detail or anything like that, please just let me know. I can definitely go into more of the customizations and go into more detail. But thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate all the support so much. I have a huge goal of getting to 1,000 subscribers by June of this year. So thank you again for watching and listening. I hope you have a fantastic day.